Simon the Borejo here. Thank you <laughs> very much for joining me today. Although I'll be honest with you, if you want to tap out of the video right now, I would not blame you. Because yesterday we are going to talk about things that you can do in the gym. <laughs> now, I want to make it very clear. You're allowed to do whatever the hell you want in the gym when it comes to your own body. Nobody should be judging you. And as long as it's not affecting anybody else, that's the be all and end all as far as I'm concerned. But somebody sent this to me on at Simon316 and I had to watch it. Because again, they sent it to me and they said, Simon, you won't believe this. I can't believe somebody did this to the gym. I mean, that's just YouTube clip like 101. And it wasn't even a YouTube video. They just sent this to me over Instagram at Simon316. Cheap plug. So... I will show you what I saw, and then we can go through this journey together. Vabbing at the gym for the first time. You guys aren't gonna believe me. Okay, now I'm in the sauna, but it worked. The vabbing worked. So, not gonna lie, I was like, okay, she's in the gym and she's vabbing. I don't know what vabbing is. So, I did what anybody would do, and I'll do it for you right now as well. I went to Google and I typed in. <laughs> What is vabbing? And the result I got was, and again, to quote, vabbing is the act of taking one's vaginal secretions and using it as a perfume. People dab the secretion on various erogenous zones, such as the elbow, wrist, or behind the ear. The practice is believed to increase a person's sexual attractiveness. Vabbing became popularized recently by TikToker Mandy Lee. And maybe the woman we're looking at is Mandy Lee. Here she is, Julia. So maybe it's not her. Now, I'd never heard of this practice before. And again, if you place your body, you'll have to do whatever the hell you want. Like, if I sit here right now and I, I don't know, to say take some of my sweat and I rub it all over me, who's that affecting? Nobody, right? Nobody else is harmed by this, so it's a perfectly fine thing to do. Because again, you, no one should be, <laughs> no one should be telling you what to do. Doesn't mean it's not a little bit weird. I mean, it is a little bit, but lots of things are weird. Lots of people are into weird things. Doesn't mean you shouldn't do them. It just means sometimes people are gonna be like, I don't really understand why I'm doing this. It's a bit freaky deaky. So then I'm like, okay, so she went to the gym and she vabbed or put her, I'm gonna read it here again, vaginal or vaginal, whichever one, secretions over her body. So I can only presume that she got a date out of this. Now, my particular opinion on trying to date in the gym is just don't do it. It's there to lift weights and more people in the gym don't want to be bothered. So you may as well err on the side of caution and not go there, especially some of those absolute gym bros that go absolutely nuts. So I looked through the rest of the videos and I found this. Okay, I'm in a restaurant bathroom now and it's kind of loud, so I'll try my best. I was doing lunges on the treadmill and this guy comes up next to me. Um, no one else was standing that close to me, but he got on the treadmill like right next to me. I'm sweating like crazy because I'm working out. But then he turns to me and then he asked me some stupid question. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> he was just shooting his shot. He was trying to break the ice. That's completely fine. But anyways, he asked me out. We exchanged numbers and maybe I'll see him this week. I'll keep you updated. So yeah, apparently <laughs> this is the stupidest video I've ever done. Apparently she was doing lunges. She's terrible anyway. And then got on the treadmill or whatever. And some dude asked her out. Maybe it was because of the vabbing. Maybe it wasn't. I don't even know why we're doing this video. I don't even know. It's one of those things where somebody sends it to you. And it's just so surreal. You don't really know what else to do about it. But maybe it does work. I'm not going to stand here and endorse this. I don't think I should. I am a human male. And therefore, I should have no opinion on this because I do not have the orifices, whatever the correct word would be, in order to give an opinion. It's just true. It's like if someone with a full, luxurious head of hair comes in and starts telling me about baldness and be like, you don't get it, my friend. And you probably never will. However, good for you because you're living the damn dream. So I continued on my search, obviously, because that's what we do. And there's lots of other things like this. Hi, guys. This is my post-gym workout outfit of the day. Also, I tried vabbing at the gym for the first time and it worked. Let me know if you guys want to hear a story time. So it's a whole thing. It's a whole pathway you can walk down. And ultimately, the only sort of criticism I could probably have on vabbing is if you're going to rub that stuff on you and then lay on a bench, I don't think anybody else wants to be laying in your vab, I suppose is the right word. But this doesn't just tie to that. That ties to sweat. That ties to whatever other kind of liquid you may be perspirating onto a bench. I mean, people don't clean up after themselves anyway enough in the fitness palace of love which they should do especially post covid right i think that all taught us this is a good point why would i just leave all my you know disgusting bodily fluids on a thing that somebody else needs to use but if she is cleaning up after herself i suppose i don't have a problem with it which is what this person asked they said do you have a problem with this and i thought about it and i was like again as long as things are clean it's good town a little bit of a clean freak who cares? As always, uh, we'll go through the comments because that's the that's always the best. And small boy said things that seem illegal but aren't. 
<laughs> so we're living in. This is what we chose to do with the internet. Never forget that. This is why you clean before and after the things you touch at the gym. See, I don't think that's just the vabbing. Just in general, sweat's disgusting too. I don't want to lay in somebody else's sweat. Who wants to do that as a form of torture? I'm not reading that one. Uh, I'm the wrong side of TikTok. Somebody please help me find my mum, bro. You and me both. This summer, the clubs will be smelling interesting. People actually do this. Okay, but why is this a thing? People need help. Why are you in a sauna fully clothed? <laughs> Can you not do that? What's wrong with that? I've just lost it now. This makes me anxious to hug people. Understand that. Is that not unsanitary? Uh, blah, blah, blah. If you do this, stay away from me. I should have just minded my damn business. I mean, that's the other thing. Like, if I'm sweating and somebody goes to hug me, I'll warn them and say, look, I'm sweating because, again, I don't think that's fair. I was in this situation the other day, as you know, I've been going to acting class the last few weeks, last few months, I should say, and we had to do this exercise where you were back to back. It was so hot in the room, I started sweating. I said, I'm really sorry. You know, if you want to move away, I totally get it. And it probably, should, it probably should be the same with this. Just saw another one. Nah, girl, I can't defend you on this one. I mean... I don't know. I, I don't even know how, how we got here. I will draw a line under it by saying, again, no matter what thing you may have on you, just clean your weights and clean the bench and clean your area after you've gone. And then everybody new that comes there is coming to a neutral situation. So whether somebody would be cool with this or they're not cool with this, we have catered to both, right? Again, I like to try and be diplomatic with this stuff. And I don't, I'm not capable of doing it. Like I kind of sometimes feel like, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The penis doesn't really work in the same way. <laughs> I can't believe why that. I tell you why I did this video. Because it made me laugh. For better or worse, it just made me laugh. I was like, how is this content? It's probably not. It's probably going to die on its ass. You know what? Let's just draw a line under it. Worst video ever. I totally, I totally agree. I could not talk about it. I had to talk about it with someone and you pulled the short straw and it's you. Now, please do like the video, share the video and subscribe. Click the bell, ding, ding. So you know other videos going live. There will be a video on the screen. It will not be an out this. We're never talking about this again. Otherwise, comments. Yeah, that's a thing. Grillamind.com forward slash Simon. You can sign and get 10% off. And there's sales all the time. Sometimes you get more than 10% off. So uh, I mostly talk about them on my Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. So follow me on there too. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316 for exclusive videos and other stuff. Uh, we've made social media. Back on Cameo now. Thank you to everyone that asked. SimonMiller.BigCartel.com for merch. And that's it. I'm going to go lay down. Goodbye.